Your next assignment is the interview analysis letter. We just did a cover letter to try to get an interview for a job. But if we get that interview, what do we do? There are plenty of community offices, school offices, and internet websites available to give you tips on how to get through the interview process. I thought it may be more interesting to come at this from the perspective of the person doing the hiring. So for this assignment, as always, begin with the instructions. It's helpful as you prepare for your own interview to consider the perspective of the hiring official or hiring committee. So in this assignment, you're going to act as the leading member of an interview committee. I've provided a link to you in content that takes you to a YouTube clip from a movie starring Will Smith in the role of Mr. Chris Gardner. So if you scroll down in your content, you'll see the interview link. That's what you want to click into, and that's what's going to take you to the movie clip you're going to be watching. Now in this video clip, Mr. Gardner's trying to get a job, trying to get an interview, and you'll see his actual interview. What you're going to do is you're going to pretend to be one of the people interviewing him. So you're not being yourself, you're pretending to be one of the people interviewing Mr. Gardner in this video. After you watch the video, you're going to write a letter to Mr. Gardner in which you analyze how he did during his interview. Now because there were multiple people that were interviewing him, that's an interview committee, you're going to pretend like you're the lead member of the committee. So watch the video, pretend like you guys discussed Mr. Gardner's interview after he left and you guys all came to a decision. You are the one who is communicating to Mr. Gardner the decision of the committee. So you are speaking for the committee. Now you are going to use your name as the writer of the letter, but you're going to make up an address for this company and throughout the letter, you're just going to pretend that you are the spokesperson for the interview committee. You are not going to reference anywhere in this letter that this was part of a video or a clip from a movie. And it is important as the spokesperson for an interview committee that you maintain your professionalism throughout the entire letter. So what are the requirements for this letter? It's going to have an opening paragraph that explains the purpose of the letter which, of course, is to discuss the committee's evaluation of Mr. Gardner's interview. Please don't give any specifics in this area. You can just say that the purpose of the letter is to discuss the committee's evaluation of the interview. It is fine for it to be a one-sentence introduction. It's going to contain one body paragraph that describes to Mr. Gardner what he did correctly during the interview, another body paragraph that describes what Mr. Gardner did incorrectly during the interview. So don't get these mixed up. One paragraph is only about what he did well. Another body paragraph is only about what he did not do well. And then your fourth and final paragraph is going to thank him for his time. And only in this last paragraph will you let him know whether he actually got the job or not. Again, make sure throughout the entire document you want it to be professional and courteous. And then as always, you're going to use that correct letter format and of course your standard grammar. So the formatting is exactly the same in this letter as it is in any of the other two letters that we've done so far. The formatting doesn't change, just the person that you're writing it to, and then of course the actual content of the body paragraphs will change. All the other formatting is the same, just the content changes. Once you've finished your final letter for the course, make sure you save it as a Word or a PDF document. Go back to your content and you'll submit that for the interview analysis letter submission.